It's only called waste if it's in the wrong place. My name is Gokul Ram and I am a sustainability researcher. We have conducted an industrial symbiosis model in an Indian industrial area in Naroda, Ahmedabad. By our research project, we primarily focus on uh, implementing waste exchange platform and creating a commercialized product out of industrial waste in order to reduce environmental hazardness. So by this documentary, we realize circular economy is still an early stage in India. And in Indian economy, the circular economy is understood as just a recycling process. So we have interviewed an expert in circular economy to understand the whole circularity concept. Circular economy is often understood in three R's, that is reduce, reuse and recycle. However, it's important to remember that circular economy can also include other three R's, which is repair, refurbish and remanufacture. Now these additional three R's, which make six R's to define circularity, really help in addressing both the resources as well as the waste stream generated in a very comprehensive manner. Then it generates employment at all levels. The system becomes really inclusive. It promotes enterprises, fosters innovations, and leads to investment flows. All these six R's together help us to meet the interests of the sustainable development goals. It is often the case that circular economy is very narrowly understood as equivalent to recycling. The point I would like to emphasize in this slide is we should never forget the other areas like I mentioned the repair and refurbish and remanufacture, which all help in extending the product life, reduce the consumption of virgin resources and generate employment directly for the communities and to give local benefits. This perspective of circular economy is missing in most parts of the world, especially in India. Our research project mainly faced challenges in implementing waste exchange platform among many industrialists. So we have decided to find the major lack between the industrialists in order to enhance the circular economy. We have observed that the trust and communication is a major lack in industrialists and government bodies and researchers. So we have interviewed several people from industrial government bodies and researchers in order to better understand the major lack among our stakeholders. My first project was in collaboration with Yale University and where we tried to find out if the industries that were located in this area had any form of industrial symbiosis that is exchange of waste between industries where the waste of one industry can be bought or is sold or is given to another industry and that material is used as a raw material within the second industry. The main challenges in India are to do with, um, in terms of research, are to do with data availability and in terms of data verification. Industry should come forward but industry is not uh coming because government rules and regulations are so much clumsy or you can say it is a, if someone declares that I am producing this type of waste then it will uh, having a trouble in other ways. More and more industries are coming, there will be generation of more waste and only treatment which is a very costly affair. And you know that treatment, we are not going to get anything back. So it's the linear economy. You, know, you, you are generating waste, you are spending money to treat and you have to dispose it off into the sea or river. By our several other discussion with researchers, we have found that implementing circular economy in an island is a crucial part. Island can't afford waste generation and we have to devise a different circular economy models for 
isolated or remote island. We have interviewed a researcher who is an architect and who is very passionate about urbanized island economy. Urbanized islands are isolated and hence face issues in procuring materials and resources from national mainlands or bigger cities. This need has made them to be resource efficient. While many look at this as a constraint and hindrance towards development, it is this very characteristic of insularity and isolation that has made many urbanized islands across the world, like Japan, develop intrinsic circular process. Construction industry is highly unsustainable and is one of the highest contributors of carbon footprint amongst all. Construction of houses today is waste producing and highly inefficient. We bring in process and product innovation using digital fabrication tools like CNC by making houses like this. This shrinks down the supply chain to a hyper-localized level. Not only does this take the conversation on circular island economics beyond wastes, but also talks about post-disaster reconstruction of houses in the islands whenever it's needed. By our several discussions with multiple stakeholders, we found that we can improve the maximum resource utilization by increasing awareness of extended producer responsibility. We need to take care of our mother earth. So in Indian economy, the implementation of circular economy is still in an early stage and it is estimated that a total of 14 lakh crore is, can be generated by 2030. A vision for circular economy one is that the uh, producer is responsible for the not only the production of the material but also its consumption and its final disposal. Circular economy to not be obsessed or focused only on growth or gross G GDP but also be fundamentally focused on well-being that economic development or circular economy development provides to citizens. The National Industrial Symbiosis Programme, this for short, over an eight year period, that delivered 42 million tonnes of CO2 reduction, um, kept 47 million tonnes of uh, waste out of landfill, and at the same time, uh, safeguarded or created 10,000 jobs. So we often refer to our programs as the uh, circular economy in action. And our strap line for the program is connecting industry, creating opportunity. Be a great asset to the Indian economy. And by keeping resources in the economy for longer, would also benefit the environment by reducing CO2 and you know, not putting so much pressure on virgin natural uh, resources. We have interviewed some of the practicing institutes which actually implement circular economy in India. The circular economy has requests a multiple collaborative perspective and the practicing institute from think tanks to doers mainly focuses on collaboration. The collaboration between designers, manufacturers, policy makers and the right people who can implement sustainability. Building houses and uh, 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 construction people, we work for the building forms. So we are architect, engineer and many artisans and we try to use oh, material to less impact in the environment and it not comes directly from the environment but it comes from the waste generated by the humans like uh, stone dust, cursor dust, china clay waste terracotta waste, manganese, laterite stone dust, like that kind of waste we try to use in a uh, mainly in a uh, making walls and for the roof and for the openings we try to use uh, recycled material from the uh, house from the uh, waste generate, uh, generated from the uh, housing and the other 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 places and we also use Obsized wood, which comes from the, which is not directly used for the uh, uh, building, but people are using in a packing and other thing. That kind of wood we are using, and we also get a material 
लाइक सी ब्रेकिंग यार्ड दैट काइंड ऑफ मटेरियल वी ट्राई टू यूज इन अ बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन Yes, I'm part of uh, the um, the jury of the Southern Economy Awards. Uh, Sustain Labs is based out of India and also out of France, and essentially it brings together academic research and researchers uh, to solve uh, organizational uh, problems in uh, large companies as well as in large government projects. I, I wanted to bring research, um, you know, which is non-transactional. and non commercial and forward looking the, the change will be both legal as well as technical solution will also have to be both legal and technical circular economy is an early stage in india many developed countries like norway sweden and european union have been pioneers in implementing circular economy the implementation of circular economy in india is mainly divided as a sustainability implementation and focused as a csr activities to reduce the taxation of every corporate life so india is known for its traditional practices and most of the ancient practices are truly circular we can achieve the circular economy by implementing the traditional practices in a very in in a modern context so green bonds and sustainable fintechs could gap the uh, collaboration between industrialist and government bodies the researchers can be collaborated by improving the uh, policy exchange activities and India still requires better research centers to implement circular economy and the good part is we are improving on it so sustainability is no longer an option it's no longer a specialization it almost has to be part of life 